And some of you guys are like, oh, Satan, I don't want to be dominant because I'm a disciple of Christ. Well, I'm a disciple of Christ too. And I had this false mentality that being a disciple of Christ meant I had to be humble. Yes, it does. And being humble meant I had to be weak. The problem with this is that there's an opposition and adversary, a resistance and an evil force out there that wants you to play small, that wants you to think when you're actually doing the right thing, you're not. And there's a time when you need to be dominant. There's a time when you need to say, no, I'm not gonna put up with this. I'm done tolerating this in my life. I'm done tolerating this. I don't like this anymore. What would happen if you just started to walk around with this mentality of like, I don't, oh, that's too much. You know what, I'll let them have it. I'll let them do it. What happens? Do you get what you want? In your life right now, between these three, direct, decisive, and dominant, which one do you need to be like, I need to do this?